Hi guys and welcome to Remarkable Moms, where I talk to Rye Moms doing remarkable things. I'm Liz Woods and this week I'm back with Kelly Grayer. Last week, Kelly described to us all the work she does for the Community Resource Center in Mamaroneck. This week, Kelly's back and she will be describing all the ways we as Rye Moms and our families might be able to help out at the center. Before we begin, I just want to say a huge thank you to Christine Sauerwein. La Last week, Christine and I attended the Rye Historical Society's fundraiser where Annabelle Monahan spoke. Annabelle did a great job. And Christine actually won the flowers at our table. When I uh, came home, maybe the next day, the flowers were at my doorstep and with it an extra dozen roses. So thank you so much, Christine. That was so nice of you. And I'm so grateful for our friendship. Okay, here we go with Kelly. My moms love helping. So you've just given us so many situations that, I mean, it seems like there's people who are really in need and could use our help. What can we do to help these immigrants who are facing all these challenges? So, of course, you know, supporting us, uh, you know, our fundraising events mm -hmm. is just an easy way to get involved. And actually, mm -hmm. we have one coming up at the end of March. Okay, oh, so I can tell you more about. Yeah, okay. I can put the link down yeah. below so you guys can check it out. Um, but we also rely on volunteers to deliver our programs and services. Um, we have uh, volunteers who are, we have adult volunteers as mm -hmm. well as high school volunteers. Mm -hmm. We've also had um, businesses and families get involved in other ways. Um, we serve uh, 600 people in our center every week. So our center um, gets some wear and tear. Mm -hmm. And we're so, all of our resources are really focused on delivering the services we deliver. So we don't have a lot of bandwidth to worry about you know some of some of the more cosmetic things so we've had um, we had a business come in and do a day of beautification huh. so that kind of thing you know coming in planting flowers in our pots uh -huh. helping us paint the walls right. in our center these things are also extremely helpful um, and um, you know if a person has a specific skill that they want to share like we if somebody has a background in teaching yoga mm. or in leading um, you know mommy and me play groups we've had in the past volunteers that's a do great these idea. Things. so bringing like their specific skills and passions that's to the idea. immigrant community mm -hmm. like we we love that mm -hmm. and our families really 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 appreciate that wow. uh, another way that people can get involved is to be trained um, to help our clients complete these forms as I mentioned their um, these these families who are unfortunately at risk for separation need to um, complete legal forms around you know who their parental designates will be. So we actually have trained um, a group of volunteers to help our families with this. Um, also, collecting supplies that our clients need, um, you know, book drives or coat drives mm -hmm. or um, back that's, to school supplies. That's a great idea at the elementary level. Yes. They're, schools are always having some kind of drive and it's, it's a great way to connect the younger Yes, kids. right. Mm -hmm. That's a great way to get kids involved in um, gathering, you know, materials and, and supplies for our families. <laughs> Oh, and my cup. Yeah. And I might need to do this a couple times. Yeah, me okay. too. Okay. <laughs> and the other thing is I can put pictures over what I'm saying, like pictures of you at the yes. synagogue or whatever. So, yeah. Um, and when we, yeah, it'll be good. When, once we have, like, the, the photos. And also the, right. So once we have sort of the story, then I can give you photos that yes, support the story. Exactly. That's yeah. exactly it. Okay. I'm going to start it up. 